Happy Hanukkah! I love you a lot, Ka. Welcome to my home. This is my Hanukkah home tour. I can't wait to show you guys everything I've got in my home to celebrate the Jewish holiday of Hanukkah. So welcome to my home. Let's go check it out. Okay, so I'm starting here in the kitchen. I tried to keep things a little minimal because there's so much cooking and baking that goes on during holiday Hanukkah. I try not to put too much decoration in the kitchen, but I'll show you guys what I got. So over here on my counter, I have three things. First is this light up. Did you guys know this lit up? I've shared this before, but I'm not sure I've ever mentioned that. Um, Hanukkah home, like a little gingerbread house. This is available on Amazon, so I will link it for you guys. I'll leave everything that I can. Um, this marble dreidel is Target, but it's last year. And then I just like to put out some gelt. I am always snacking on gelt. I have gelt with my morning coffee, gelt with my lunch, afternoon snack. Let me show you guys what it is. It's just a chocolate coin. So delicious. Some of them have um, like Hebrew writing on them, a menorah, a dreidel, different kinds of decoration. You can get milk chocolate, dark chocolate, they're all delicious. Then on my kitchen island, I have this menorah. This is from Target. They still do have it, so I'll link it for you guys. I love the gold on it. It's like heavy and nice and solid. Really, really beautiful. And then this is uh, an Annie glass plate I've had for a long time. I love just displaying things on there. I might add some like gout or dreidels during the week, but for now, I love that the way that looks on the white island with the gold menorah. And then behind it, I have two garlands. This one, this banner, it's from Peace Love Light Shop. And then this Happy Hanukkah sign is from Etsy. I always like to share this tip. If you have an Etsy shop that makes something that you think is beautiful um, and does, does personalization, just ask them to do Happy Hanukkah. So this felt banner, it's from an Etsy store called Felt and Play. And they mostly do like personalized birthday banners and things like that. So I just messaged them and I was like, can you do a happy Hanukkah one? And they were like, sure. So now I have a Hanukkah banner. If you're new here, by the way, my name is Marion and I make videos about being a mom and being a Jewish mom. And I love to celebrate the holidays with my husband and my three little boys. It's one of my favorite things in the whole year is to decorate and celebrate Hanukkah. And I'm gonna be vlogging. Every year I do Vlognica, I call it, which is like Vlogmas for Hanukkah. And I try to film all our celebrations of Hanukkah. So if you're here, stick around. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you'll see those videos pop up in your feed. Next week, Hanukkah is next week. Okay, then as you step out of my kitchen, I just wanna show you really quick, we have our family calendar, which I just put Hanukkah on. I haven't done the rest of the month yet, but I just wanna show you guys. I'll link that as well. And then this is my Jewish holiday calendar. This is the one I put out. This is the version that I put out um, Rosh Hashanah time each year, but I also make a new one in December for Hanukkah. So a 2024 Jewish holiday calendar. So all the Hanukkah, all the Jewish holidays for the English year of 2024 is in that updated version. So you can buy that down below. It's just a digital download. Okay, now let's go into the family room. So if you've been with me and my channel for a little while, you might remember that this wall used to be a cutout and the TV was not mounted on the wall because the wall had like a giant hole in it <laughs> for under the stairs. And it was kind of designed for like more 90s style TVs. So we just had the wall closed and now we can put a um, TV stand and we mounted the TV. And then this is another one of the um, Target menorahs like I showed you. And this is their dreidel for this year. So the marble one was last year. I think I prefer it slightly, but this one is really pretty too. It's a giant wooden one, so I can link that for you. And I think that that looks so pretty together. I kept it a bit minimal because I have a two-year-old, so <laughs> I can only get away with so much decoration. <laughs> um, and then up the stairs, we did put lights. Um, I have not done this in the past. I, for me, it's a little Christmassy. But when we were decorating, I had all the Hanukkah decorations, and we have had those lights forever. We have usually put them like by the fireplace. <laughs> Anyways, my four-year-old was just taking stuff out and he put it up the banister like he probably saw it in a movie or something. And I was like, actually, it looks really lovely. So we kept it. <laughs> okay, and then here is our fireplace mantle. This is always one of my favorite spots to decorate. And each year it looks a little bit different. So we have our giant dreidel pillow. This is another Target find, but again, from previous years. If you like any of Target's Hanukkah stuff, I really suggest 
that you buy it when you see it because they tend to do new stuff every holiday and they don't always bring back things that you might like. This garland, by the way, is also Target new this year. These dreidels, I think it's so pretty and you can get them online. So even if your Target doesn't have great stuff, check out the online store. And then for the rest of this area, I actually invested three years ago. I was like, I want a beautiful, green winter garland and these hurricanes and we actually kept the hurricanes up year round because they're so pretty so all of that is from west elm it was expensive but i remember i was like i just want to do it one year and have beautiful things and i'll use it every year from that point forward and i have been so we've got these beautiful large hurricanes they're glass you can put candles in them these are just some flowers from michael's to add some blue and then this garland is west elm and that sign is Peace Love Light Shop as well. They've done that one for years. And I just love the way that all <laughs> came together. So that's our family room. Oh, and we also have one Hanukkah pillow <laughs> over there. Every year I try to find like the perfect Hanukkah pillow set, but so far it's eluded me. Let me know if you guys find one that you think is beautiful. And of course I've got my Hanukkah cookbook. I sell this as a digital download on my Etsy store. I'll link it for you guys. But I love printing it out and gifting it over the Hanukkah holiday and just cooking up all the recipes in it. I'm so excited. Okay, we're walking back through the kitchen and now into the dining room. So in my previous video, I showed you how I set this all up for Hanukkah, like when we're hosting. I took that down and I will set that up again in a few more days but again I have a two-year-old so there's only so much I can have out but right now we've got the blue tablecloth and then over here I have some beautiful flowers my in-laws gave me these presents so this is another Hanukkah hack these beautiful present decorations are from Amazon they come with red um like Christmas berries. I'm not sure what the actual term is. Like it's like the berry you see around Christmas. So I just pulled those red pieces off and then I used the Michael's blue flower again and just popped it onto one of them. I thought that looked nicer than doing all three, but um, yeah, so now it makes it more of like Hanukkah presents with just an easy little switch. We've got our family menorah down there. <laughs> And then over here on our buffet, we have the menorah that we got when we got married. It has our, I just had to let the dog out. It says Anila Dodi Vidodi Lee. And then this art I've shared before, it's by Amanda Toppy. Just sent over a Hanukkah piece that goes with it. So I'm gonna unbox that and show it to you guys. I'm so excited this got here in time for me to show you guys. So it's an acrylic block and it's got this gorgeous menorah in it and it's the same sort of style as Aman the rest of Amanda's art which I think fits in so beautifully with the piece I have above the buffet of hers. I just love the way it all looks together and then the pink menorah that we got at our wedding um, that says Anila Dodiva Dodi Lee and has the broken glass from under our hoop in it. So I love the way that all looks. And then the last room that we really decorated is the playroom and kept it very simple, but really sweet and cute. So here I put our happy Hanukkah sign. This is a kid's felt one. And this is by the brand Year Cheer and they do holiday boxes for all the different holidays. They have a really cute one for Hanukkah. This year it has like a Hanukkah countdown clock in it. It's super cute as well as like activities to do with kids. So check out the Year Cheer boxes. They always have fun stuff in them. And the other thing I always keep out in the playroom is Hanukkah books. I've shared our collection with you guys before. A lot of these are from PJ Library, as well as just available online. We have quite a collection now. This one I always share is my favorite, Hanukkah Bear. Um, and my other favorite is this one, Goodnight Bubbala. Um, but there's so many cute ones. There's Sesame Street ones, Happy Hanukkah Pout Pout Fish. <laughs> You're my little parka. Curious George Hanukkah. So yeah, lots of lovely children's Hanukkah books. And then the last thing I've got is a Hanukkah countdown. And we are, at the moment I'm filming this, 10 days until Hanukkah. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's coming up so, so soon. So that is our home, all decorated for Hanukkah. I'm so, so excited to celebrate the holiday this year. As you guys know, if you're not living in a bubble, it has been a very, very hard time 
for everyone, I would say, with, for anyone who has access to the news, it is a very, very hard time. Um, our hearts are just broken and it's just been so, so hard. But I feel like Hanukkah is a moment to lift ourselves out of that pain and just celebrate the joy of the holiday and that's what we're trying to do. And decorating my home has definitely been part of that. So thank you for being here to share it with me. I do hope you'll stick around for our vlogs for Hanukkah, for Vlognica. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Hit the red subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!